Well, what I've prepared here is a soil sample and the idea really is that we're trying to define the balances of bacteria to fungi. And so when we look at uh, soil systems and programs, we also look at the balance of biology within a soil. And when we're um, helping to, to produce those programs and, and products that we apply to remediate or change sequences, if you like, we need to make sure that we can look at uh, things that are developing. So this is just one simple way that we can look at the balance of bacteria to fungi within the soil. Mycorrhizal fungi are a specific type of fungi which infect 95% um, of all plant species in the world. The importance of them in agriculture is huge because they are part of the soil food web. The problem being is that these guys are really delicate. You can kill off 90% of the fungal hyphae just with one ploughing. So if we've had a 40 or 50 years of ploughing or heavy cultivations, we find they're just not in the soil system anymore. They're important because they produce enzyme reactions which can actually help increase the plant's rooting and access nutrients for the plant. A very important part of uh, the natural process. Two and a half parts per million, which isn't actually high, it's just above the normal. Mm -hmm. but if we compared it... The principle of radionics really is, is measuring subtle frequencies. This is a sample of wool here, and within this wool there will be all the elements and they will all have different frequencies and so by putting um, a code in which for, would be different for nitrogen or cobalt or for um, any particular element fertility for instance you can put a rate in here and then you can actually uh, measure the degree of over function or under function within that environment the, the interesting thing about this is it's very low cost we can do it on a daily or a weekly basis and it's been really, really helpful in terms of understanding the programs and how, how biology works within the system of farming.